major concussion. Major concussion. For the matter. It was too dark for me to make out who the Hey! It was too dark for me to make out who the culprit was, but I think that it was some little imp trying to get at us. So last night we had a break in here. Some unknown criminal just randomly came in and I witnessed it all. Crew member one was here and didn't do anything until he stole our cooler. And that had all our um, Bigfoot bait in it, so now we're going to have to start from scratch again. Didn't get these off. <laughs> we'll have to make a new formula to bait the Bigfoot. Otherwise, we're going to not catch any Bigfoots. So. And so, when he came in, that guy, the, the robber, he came in and he broke down the door using some furniture. And it's all broken now. So, we've been having our crew members are trying to make repairs. and. Um, hopefully we can rebuild after all hey. the damage that has been done. I think I fixed it. Oh. With the pent on my life has left me scarred and deformed. He's quite injured, and he'll have to go see a doctor about that. Unfortunately, I am not that kind of doctor, and so we can only hope for the best, and maybe we won't get robbed again. After um, my concussion, um, I've been just working behind the scenes, making some Bigfoot bait, so I'm going to store it in the, over here, so, um, so I know where it is, in case Winston wants it. Wants it. Now we've been robbed twice, only this time our suspect returned with a Bigfoot And companion. they broke the chair again! And they broke the chair again. I'm gonna quit if this happens one more time. He, they better not happen again. Um, but this Bigfoot came in holding a chainsaw. In fact, it was the chainsaw that got stolen last night, or two nights ago now, since it's morning. And, um, so now we, this only confirms our theory that Bigfoot is intelligent and knows how to use chainsaws. I fixed it again. I'm the best. Most people don't even know how to open a refrigerator door with a chainsaw. See? It actually is working. Fuck! Yeah. Some people don't even know how to fix a chair. But tonight, we're going to be putting security systems up in here so that they won't be able to break in a third time. And... Yeah, go take that um, out. Um, I gotta take this ball. I'll be right back.
Well, I guess it's time to get back on the trail with Bigfoot. So the crew members will arrange a series of traps to attract the burglar and his Bigfoot friends. This should and possibly will stop the thieves from breaking in a third time. They specifically established special traps at the doorway so that they will not break down the door again. They deploy the guard dogs who have been training in academies for this moment their entire lives. As you lives. can see now, we've got all kinds of traps set up everywhere. I'm not sure what this does yet, but we'll figure it out. Um, are we ready, guys? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're ready. I don't, I don't think they're going to come tonight. Can I have this up there, please? Now? Oh, all this trap setting up is making me tired. Oh, Boys, you good to go? Head on out. See ya. We're gonna get one. Alright, so I think we should scan like the perimeter and then come back and just circle up. Back and just circle up. Back in your circle up. Back in your circle up. Because there's definitely like big foot around here. Definitely. So I think. I think maybe over there somewhere. Uh huh. Are you even paying attention to me right now? Man. I don't know, man. This water's really good. So. I'm ready to go again. Okay. These logs and branches are obviously cut by a Bigfoot. They have constructed the motionfulness to be intelligent. This seems like some form of Bigfoot fortress. We can tell by the DNA on the branches and on the surface below. Wait, I hear something. The Bigfoot call. It's still around here. It appears that they are not coming back. What did you guys see on your mission? You tell them. We found a Bigfoot fortress with the uh, makings of one. I wouldn't say it was That's quite a fortress, I'd say it was just... Look, I'd found say it was some, just... Found some samples chainsaw. of it. Chainsaw. Bigfoot was chainsawing. Yeah. There's nothing else could do anything more perfectly than that. Wow. Yeah. Nothing could make those lines It proves that Bigfoot is an intelligent creature. This proves the existence of Bigfoot. Bigfoot is real. You know what? This is some great evidence. You better hold on to that so that we don't lose it. We can run tests on that more. Dr. Winston Weatherspoon and his crew members travel to Indiana through the rocky hills and mountains.
I'm here in Indiana to interview two witnesses of a Bigfoot. They actually filmed it and put it on YouTube just like the other two, and this time I'm going to go and see exactly what it was that happened. Hello, my name is Winston Witherspoon. I'm a oh, doctor. Sorry. Nice to meet you, so. It's nice to meet you too. What was your name again? Ah, uh, I am Sarge Beamstock. Sarge Beamstock, mind if I what I go by. Yeah, uh, um, I'm Sarge Beanstalk from, uh, Indiana, the country, and not the country of Indiana, out in the country of Indiana, um, but you see, we got Bigfoot surrounding our whole property, I've seen one in my entire life, but I know they're out there, feed the cows at night, wake up in the morning, check the cows, food's all gone. That couldn't mean anything but a Sasquatch. Tell me about when you encountered Bigfoot. Ah, oh, Sasquatch. Bigfoot, yeah. Is that what you call him out here? Yes, out here in the country. Sounds like to call him Sasquatch. Yeah, Sasquatch! We got the we got thirty. Hey! Sugar, don't waste pears. Alright, so of them. my encounter, we were out deer hunting. With my newly bought Raffle. Yeah, this one's a raffle. From the market store down down the road. And you see, I was hunting and it was dark out. And I saw this thing moving in there. And I said, What in the world could that be? Because you know, there's no humans around this area except old gay over there. I'll probably show me wouldn't be on TV. Um. I see. Is he, um. Got a bit of a temper then? Bigfoot? Okay, no, I, well, yes, him too. Oh, yes, Georg. We put him in the fields to keep him out of trouble. Ah! Soil's not right! Doesn't taste good! Ah! Hey, but... Georg! Ah! You forgot to feed the cows! Ah! Not the main brand. <laughs> I'm Chucky Beanstalk. Uh, that's my daddy. And, uh, um,. I sometimes do the garden work and I'm like mad because sometimes the gar some of the corn is gone and I'm like, see look, one of these might have been licked by a Bigfoot. Oh, okay. So where were you, you were um, telling me about when you were deer hunting? Oh uh, yes. See, the deer was going across the field, and I mm -hmm. took out my rifle, and, like, and then something comes by, and it's like this tall thing, and I'm like, yeah, it's like a furry, and I'm like, what well, in the world could that be, you know? Because mm -hmm. that's what I say about things out here in the country. And, you see, he was, he was like, coming closer to me, and I took out my shotgun, and I booned him, I booned him right in the face. Oh my. And then I got his body and I skinned the darn thing. It was, it was, it was not that big. I think it was an adolescent. All right. Do you mind if I take this back? Oh uh, no. Oh uh, no. No. This this thing's priceless. I wouldn't give it to anyone for the world. You see, it's it's very rare to catch to catch an ape in the North American wilds. This mm -hmm. old chuck. But I got him right in the head. Still has a little hole there. Well, I assumed it didn't heal. Well, yeah. I mean, he's dead. Hey! The soil's not right! That gay org's quite the character. What? Alright. So, is there anything else that you needed to tell me about your encounter with Bigfoot? Yeah. Would you, would you mind showing me the exact location where you saw him? Oh, goodness. It's way out in the field. Further than you could count. Okay. Well, then I, I won't waste your time then. No, I've got precious time. Need to work on these guns. I see. Nice tattoo, by the way. This? Yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, but. You know, I. 
absolutely hate Bigfoot. I can tell you shot him. I shot him square in the forehead. Still has a dent from that. Oh, I'm so proud of my kill. Wow. Oh my gosh, Shelly will be proud of me. Who's this Shelly? Oh, she died a long time ago. Yes, my mama. Oh, that was I'm so mama. sorry for you. Well, um, thank you for your time, and um, I'll see you around then. Oh! Nice meeting you. I bet we'll be seeing each other soon. Okay, and nice meeting your son too. Uh -huh. <laughs> and your farm hand. <laughs> I really should be going now. Yes, you should. Yeah, <laughs> if you ever. Yeah. Well, Once I'm going you know to have to be. Know anything about Bigfoot? Just tell me. I'm going to have to be searching for evidence elsewhere now. Don't come I, back. Because I cannot test the skin. But um, we will figure it out. Hopefully, we don't get robbed anymore. And um, keep on watching. But and I'll fix that too. I will. You've been that too. robbed. And keep on watching for the next episode of the Tale of Bigfoot. We're here in Minnesota on the trail of Bigfoot. We have um, heard from some sources that he may be up in the northern area and we're going to go check it out.